Welcome. What's up? I seen <laughs> her perform out at uh, Howard Homecoming. Mm -hmm. uh, what about a week ago? Yeah, killed it. Killed it. Killed it. Killed it. Hey, she <laughs> named her album the right thing too. Tell your story because mm -hmm. you really told your story. Yeah. First song, blame on me. You just put it all out there. Put it all out there. Was that therapeutic for you? No, it was. Yeah. Um, I felt like all my life I held all that in, so like it kind of was weighing on me, you know. And, but as I got to this point, I felt like I went through all that for a purpose. So I could speak for those that don't have no voice, you know. Mm. So, well, let's start from the beginning. You're from St. Louis, East St. Louis, East St. Louis, and, and how did she's you like? Get be clear. Why you correct that? East Tell St. me why you correct that. What's the difference? <laughs> What's the difference? Well, East St. Louis is across the water, so it's in Illinois. Okay. And St. Louis is in Missouri, so. Got you. Mm. So how did you get your start? How did you find your love for music and, and get started in music and get signed? I've always loved music. Um, it just really was a part of me. Mm -hmm. I don't know where it came from because nobody in my family is like musically talented. Nobody on my mama's side or my daddy's side. My step, uh, my stepdad raised me, but he like loves music, so he was always listening to, you know, real R and B like Mary J. Blige, India Ari, mm -hmm. listening to Prince. Put me on all that, and we didn't have much, so only really had a radio in my room. And I had no TV, we didn't have no cable or nothing like that. So I really just spent a lot of time alone in my room with the radio mm -hmm. my dad worked all the time and my mom she suffered from bipolar depression because of things she went through in her childhood that kind of just like followed her mm -hmm. so um when did you realize you could sing when i was like seven mm -hmm. um well that was when others around me realized i could sing you know i'm singing around the house mm -hmm. and it was something that i loved doing but never really knew i never you know knew i could sing Till one day I was playing American Idol with my cousins. Just playing American <laughs> Idol in, in the living room, huh? <laughs> playing American Idol. How do you play American Idol? You I was you like, you gonna be the judges? Right. I'm, gonna be, I'm gonna get on. The, I'm gonna sing. <laughs> they voted you out. They was like, no, they just stopped the whole game and was like, hold on, you can really sing. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody was Simon. No, <laughs> no. Nah, then they just took me in the living room and it was just like. Do you know your daughter can sing? My mom was like, I mean, I hear her around the house, but I'm not really just tuned in with her. Mm -hmm. What'd you perform? I sung Love by Kichiko. Okay. Yeah, so That's I, a tough one. That ain't an easy one either. Yeah, I bust out in that. <laughs> and my mama just started crying right off the right off the rip. Wow. And she was just like, dang, I never knew you could sing. How old were you then? I was like seven or eight. Wow. And she probably didn't know how to take the steps to get you in the business because you said you don't come from a musical family. Right. She she definitely did it. And we didn't have the funds for it, you know. For that, so like we were sh struggling my whole life, honestly. So, mm -hmm. so how do you like let's pull up to a Nelly concert or a Chingy concert and see if we can meet nah, somebody backstage? I met Nelly before mm -hmm. in St. Louis. Mm -hmm. and, um, how did, and how did you get signed? Well, that's a long story. Um, we got time. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, 